Many of you know that I talk about the lymphatic system all the time. I'm very passionate about it. And especially my family, friends, uh, those of you who contacted my page, I want you to understand why the lymphatic system is so important. And just think about this. We all have a system in our body, uh, vessels and nodes, that must clean us. It's called the lymphatic system. And it's something I've studied for 20 years. And 10 years ago, I learned of acid-alkaline balance. And basically, an acid-alkaline balance, it's first-grade science, homeostasis. Is our body an acid? Is it in balance? Or is it alkaline? And our goal is to be in balance. Again, first-grade science, homeostasis. Well, I don't have to tell you that we spend a lot of money on antacids. We spend 50, over $50 billion on antacids, Prilosec, Prevacet, all these different products. So we know that we have an acid problem. And you don't have to have any symptoms of acid to have a problem. But what's happening when we become slightly acidic, our body constricts. And our lymph vessels are as thin as our hair. And when we constrict, that constricts. And now we fill with our own waste. So you can see that if we ignore our lymphatic system, which is something Dr. Oz says is happening, the medical system ignores our uh, lymphatic system because of its subtlety and complexity. He says it's the next frontier in medicine, and I believe that. But when our lymphatic system can't clean us, we basically fill with our own dead cells. It's called auto-intoxication. So if your pancreas has lack of circulation because it gets a little bit acidic, the lymph system stops flowing and it fills with its own dead cells, which creates inflammation and infection. Uh, and basically it just shuts it down over time, just constricts it. Uh, this happens in every part of our body. It can happen in your brain with Alzheimer's. They know that it's about dead cell material and that the brain uh, shrinks. It can happen in your ovaries. It can happen in your prostate. Really, wherever you have lack of lymphatic flow, we can have inflammation and toxicity and that really is our disease so we can call it pancreatitis we can call it cystitis we can call it Alzheimer's or autism but it's really one thing we have a problem where the body has become acidic it stopped lymph flow which must complete circulation and, and helps to clean the cells and the cells just become toxic auto intoxication uh, it really is a simple problem and it's not about being perfect I'm not perfect, I'm not a vegetarian, but I have learned how to balance my life. So if I go out and have a couple of cocktails, some meat, some steak, some pasta, I know how to come home and clean myself or over the next few days how to detox that acid waste out. But trust me, it is acid waste that is creating all of our problems. I'm not the first one saying this. There are probably 30 books over the last four decades decades that say that acid is the root cause of disease. So if you have any problems, please contact me at lymphman.com is the contact page and I would love to explain your health problem including acid alkaline balance and the lymph system. And what most people tell me when I do coaching with them or when they come into my office in Scottsdale is that just hearing my explanation of their disease, of their health problem, makes them feel better because it's real science. It makes them feel like they have control over this. Because right now, if you have cancer, if you have depression, if you have anxiety, if you have insomnia, you really feel like you have no control. But once you understand my information, it's real simple, uh, you'll be able to take care of yourself a lot better. So just uh, go to Lymphman at Facebook and uh, like me, hit the notifications, and I promise I'm just going to send out information uh, that will change your life. And if it helps you, please tell others. Thank you very much.